Dr. Natraj, what are the typical treatment options for uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia? See, le acute lymphoblastic leukemia is one of the cancers where there are a lot of landmark achievements which has happened over the last six to eight decades. Once upon a time, it was just for uh, palliation with few days and then they die. And then now it has reached a curative intent treatment where in children, 90% of them we can cure. So it's a major leap which we have taken from last so many years. And a lot of things have been learned over the time with multi-agent chemotherapies. So commonly the treatment arm armament that we have is conventional chemotherapy using different kinds of protocols. It may be German-based protocol. It may, there are some Indian protocols. There are American protocols. There are Australian, Australian protocols. And we have... Uh, uh, we have a second armamentarium nowadays and recently with targeted drugs like uh, blinatumumab, or inotuzumab, many maps which have come up, ipratuzumab, and then we have third armamentarium that is uh, stem cell transplant for relapsed patients, bone marrow transplant, and now we have the newest kid in the block which has given us a lot of hope for even for multiply relapsed refractory patients that is thymeric antigen receptor T cells that is CAR T cells. So these are the different treatment options which are there in the platter. And it depends on what do we use at a certain patient at a certain point in their treatment life, treatment cycle. Some, each patient is different and then each age group is treated differently from each stage of the disease, like whether it is newly diagnosed, whether they have relapsed early or whether they have relapsed late. It depends on what drug we use or what type of treatment we use at each, 